it's uh, Ruin GFX here, and uh, today I have this tutorial for you of uh, how I did this watercolor effect on the speed art for Creative Mess. It's uh, pretty original, I haven't seen it around before, I haven't seen the tutorial either on how to do it. So uh, yeah, you can really you can use any image you want on this, uh, you're just going to have to make it black and white, I'll show you just how to do that in a second. But I'm just going to use this uh, image here. Yeah, now I only have a. I'm just gonna say now I only have a key ramp, so it's really slow, especially when like you've Camtasia on with uh, Photoshop. This is re see it wrecks my head with speed arts as well. All this waiting room, so I'm just gonna wait for this to uh, cop itself on for a sec. <coughs> All right, after about ten minutes, that's after loading, and uh, I'm just gonna rasterize this and. Um, so oh yeah, but I, by the way, I have no idea who this is. Looks like George the Jungle or something like that. And you can do this with any image. Uh, you just want to kind of press Control and U. That's gonna bring up your hue and saturation, and uh, bring down your saturation right to minus 100. It's gonna make the image black and white, and uh, just go and add a bit of contrast to it and all that until you get something like this. <coughs> so uh, I have my image here, and uh, just gonna head up the layer. And new adjustment layer and threshold. Now this is up to you, like really, but like that's obviously it's nice for something like this. So we're gonna save this here, and you're gonna wanna press Control and click on the two layers and merge them together into one layer. I'm just gonna pause this again while this does this because it just goes faster. Alright, so you have your your layer here. And uh, what you're gonna wanna do is get the selection tool and and press control C on your keyboard, that's gonna copy it. <coughs> now you're gonna I'm gonna give you a few stock images of watercolour and uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna duplicate duplicate them and move them around so you get something like this. Obviously it's only gonna be a small one but like once you duplicate them you'll get something like this so you're gonna wanna go up to this and add a layer mask which is a box with a circle inside it hold down alt on your keyboard and click on the layer mask and the white layer yeah and then press ctrl v to paste it and this is always gonna center like so save yeah so save like your watercolors up here it's not gonna be no use it's gonna have to be around the center and uh, press ctrl i which is going to invert it, so it's going to we're going to see the black instead of the white, and then click on your watercolor, and yeah, you're going to have this. So don't get rid of this uh, selection box, by the way. Now sometimes this is going to be gone, but sometimes most times it's there, but that's grand anyway. So you're just going to go up to select inverse, and then just hit the delete. Yeah, I'm just gonna pause this again. Right, sorry about that. Yeah, and all that will be gone. So you're just gonna go select, deselect, and uh, Control T, and we're gonna move our image here, wherever you want it, basically. Ah, come on! Oh no way! Yeah, and that's done now. So uh, you're gonna wanna get a, a layer like oh, I got this in Robots 2K GFX back, I think. It's like the tea bag stained, like paper, and uh, just open that up and make sure it's below it. And you're gonna get this. And it doesn't really look great at all, but if you go up to the watercolor one and put the blend them out to multiply like this, and I well, just know I don't know, but like I just think it looks really nice. Like it looks real sort of doesn't it? And this just follow the same process for doing this with text as well, with the layer mask and the invert it. And uh, yeah, alright, so thanks, like the video, subscribe if you want, and all that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you.